guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna talk about my Mother's Day gift. For Mother's Day this year, my husband bought me what I've been wanting for months and months and months, which is a Canon G7X. I know that it is a popular camera in the YouTube world, and a lot of people had said great things about it. I had read a few negatives, but mostly positive, so I knew that it was something I wanted to invest in. Um, the camera that I was using was the Canon G12, I think. Um, and the problem that I had with it is that um, I couldn't zoom in and out during recording. And also, it doesn't autofocus well. Maybe it does. Maybe I didn't have the settings set right, but um, I had trouble with getting it to autofocus. So, he surprised me with this camera, which I was super excited about. Um, so far, I've really enjoyed having it. There are a few negatives to this camera that I did want to point out to people so that you don't go through the same problems that I've had. Just um, so that I, I just wish that someone had told me about these few things so that I could have watched out for it because I had no idea that these were weak areas on the camera and um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you that now. This is my Canon G7X. It's a really pretty camera. One of the features that I liked was that it has the screen on the back pops up instead of out to the side like my G12. So when you're videoing, you can just glance up to make sure that you're still in the shot, um, which is nice so it doesn't like have you looking to the side a lot. Um, I did like that feature. Um, I like that it's compact. It's, it's pretty small in my hand, so it's easy to handle. One thing that I will say, um, I had had this camera for a couple of weeks. I had used it minimal times and the lens, the cover that goes over the lens, when I opened it one day to do shooting, see how it opens up? It did not open. It got stuck in there. And I wasn't sure what was wrong with it. I went to close it back up and it was stuck again. Um, so I took it back to the camera shop and they pointed out to me that there was a small dent So this part that is around the camera, on my G12, this is like a hard plastic, but on the G7X, this area is actually like a thin sheet of metal. Well, apparently I bumped this part right here on something and it dented in. It was just a very small little dent. You can kind of see how it's sloped in a little bit. Um, and so it just touched enough that then the lens would not open. I had no idea that that could happen. I've always just kind of, with my other camera, just dropped it into my purse as I'm recording at stores. Um, you cannot do that with this camera because it will dent so easily and then this lens will not open up. So basically, I, after I found this out, it was going to cost us money to get it fixed. I've only had the camera like a couple of weeks. So we brought it home to see if we could figure out how to fix it ourselves. And I watched a few videos and decided that I would give it a try. So I'm going to show you what I did now. But what I did is I took um, my X-Acto knife, which you could just use a razor blade if you had one loose, but I just used the end of this. And I took the razor blade and I pushed it up under the little lip right here. And then when I put it under there, I just put a little bit of pressure to pull it back out. You need to be really gentle because you could break it easily. You wanna make sure this lens cover is shut when you're doing this so you don't scratch the lens. Um, after I pushed on this just a couple of times, it pulled this out enough that now my shutter opens and closes really easily. So now it opens and it closes really nicely. There is a small little scratch there where, um, where I was trying to open it back up, 
but it functions really great. The camera still works great. But at that point, I decided it was pretty important that I protect my camera better. And that's the part that I wanna to suggest to you guys. Make sure that you have a really good bag when you put it in your, in your purse. I purchased this Low Pro small little bag. Um, this side is really padded, so I slip my camera, the lens side in, right here, and then I can throw this in my purse. I also purchased a lens cap cover. It just comes in a package like this. And I got the 58 millimeter, fits this camera perfectly. And it's just like a plastic, contain like cover that there's no ridges or anything it doesn't screw on or snap on it just slides on as you can see and it fits perfectly it just pushes right on there and it fits really nicely to protect that that cover just in case you're in a situation where you can't put your camera inside the bag this will help to protect it so it doesn't bump around on things inside your purse and dent that lens cap so um, this is pretty important to protect that camera because it is an expensive investment and I don't want you to be disappointed like I was when my lens uh, cover would not shut. Um, it's really disappointing when you spend that much money and then something is broken that quickly. So I will put a link below to um, the two things that I purchased to protect my camera. This works really nicely. If, if you don't purchase anything else, I would definitely suggest this lens cap cover. Um, the only thing you want to be careful of is don't open your camera before you slip this off. But anyway, I hope that this was helpful to you and that you can um, avoid the problem and issue that I had in the future. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.